Why'd you leave us? You can't be mad forever. There's danger in the horizon. Your love has been tested. I'm not cheating on you. What's happening, YouTube? Episode 5 of The Shy, Season 3. It was a complete doozy. The rumor is this gentleman right here is the one that's got Keisha captured. Be careful for spoilers because this is my episode six trailer review, ladies and gentlemen, where we break it down frame by frame. And it looks as though our guy Ronnie is about to become the hero. So let's go ahead and break this thing down. If you're finding me for the first time, please subscribe to the channel. Be sure to turn on those notifications so when I drop videos, you get them. This is my munchkin. She's asleep right now, so I can't turn her over there because y'all know trying to get a kid that's newborn to sleep on a regular pattern, it's like trying to hog tie a pig knowing that he's going to be in Nell Carter's kitchen for bacon. So I ain't going to turn her around. But y'all will see her sooner or later. Let's go ahead and watch the trailer one more time, and then we'll break it down. Where the hell am I, Ronnie? Ooh, show me what you're working with. Happy birthday, baby. Now make a wish. Can I help you? First clip, ladies and gentlemen, we see Keisha just just looking downtrodden with that creep in the background. Then we see her cut to a scene where she is obviously making a birthday card for her brother Kevin. We'll see that at the end of this trailer. So she's aware of what the situation, she's aware of the date and the time somehow, some way. And then in the very next clip, we see the creep talking about he wants to take care of her, brushing her hair, just looking sad, man. I mean, th just think of the level of creepiness this shows. Then we see Jake and his brother Trig just outside playing basketball, having a discussion. And that discussion leads to Jake asking what in the world happened to you? And whatever response Trig gave him wasn't good enough for Jake because Jake manned up and let go a right hand that would be a Buster Douglas on Mike Tyson style right hand. Next clip, we see a tarot card reading being done between Emmett, Tiff, and this person that's saying that some bad things are going to happen in their relationship. And if you look at this card, it has the Trinity. It's got the mom sword, it's got the dad sword, it's got the son sword, all breaking through a heart. And you see Emmett looking like, oh no, uh-oh. And you see Tiff is just kind of like, hmm, what does it mean? Bear with me. Munchkin is trying to wake up. Very next clip, you see them outside. He's explaining to Tiff that he's not cheating. And Tiff looking at him like, boy, bye. Why should I believe you? You probably smashing that cook. And then we go to something that's very entertaining. <laughs> We go to a strip club. Now, you guys know this is directly from the summer video. And it's Ronnie taking his grandma to the strip club. And it's very convenient to me how this chick seems to have um, time-sensitive amnesia. Because most of the time she's acting crazy. And in this club, she's trying to get her some. Which makes me wonder, um, can panty draws that old still get wet? Apparently they can because look how she grinding on that stripper. Next scene, we see Kev blowing out birthday candles, and they ask him to make a wish as the mom presents the candles to him. And guys, you know he's thinking about his sister in this situation. What else could be on his mind other than the well-being, location, and information on his sister? So he's going to blow out the candles. They've got a party with everybody there. Most important scene from this trailer, Ronnie rolls up on the house probably outside where he heard the screams and you can see he's standing at the door someone comes to the door and the shy doing their best david copperfield disappearing at not showing us who's walking to the door is talking to ronnie and you can cool believe ronnie is saying he heard a girl's voice screaming the other day in this vicinity and i think that at the end of this season ladies and gentlemen ronnie might sacrifice some things to go after this guy that you guys claim is this gentleman right here and I guess we'll have to see how where it goes and what happens. But please leave me all your comments on where you think the story is going to go with Ronnie being a hero. Is Keisha going to be found well before the season is over with? I hope so because I want to know what she went through. I want to hear her story. So maybe they'll let her be found in episode 7 or 8. That's going to do it for this video. 
Don't forget to like the video, comment, subscribe. Most importantly, share these videos as we try to grow the message of life gains. And join me and the fellas tonight at 9 p.m. as we discuss the shy. We'll also discuss P Valley Review Episode 2. And we'll talk a little bit of stocks to help you guys make those life gains in your finances. And until that next sex is hell video, for me and baby L, we'll see you.